Hello everyone and welcome back to the UTSA Dynasty and today UTSA has the chance to set a record in this series and have a first. They're a 3 and 1 team and have never finished better in the first two seasons than 3 and 9. Today they attempt to push ahead towards their fourth win of the year and of course they're going to have to do so without starting quarterback freshman Evan Newton. He was injured in the second quarter of last week's episode on a play where he scrambled out of the pocket, tried to get the first down and took a hit that ended up giving him an abdominal strain. He had to leave the game and was replaced by John Simmons and he will not be in action until two weeks from now in two episodes so today John Simmons assumes the role of the starting quarterback as UTSA stays home in the Alamo Dome looking for their fourth win with interstate rival Conference USA rival the Rice Owls whom I don't think have had much success before against in this series but here we are in the first quarter, first and ten coming up for the UTSA Roadrunners offense. John Simmons under center, he gets the start today, he takes a snap and throws on first and ten. He'll find Cam Jones running across the middle and he gets a first down grab. He is down inside the 45 yard line and now first and ten hand off to Anthony Banks looking to bounce it outside. Has a little bit of running room in his step after a four yard gain. Good blocking to help him get the, the few yards that he did. And now a third down and 11 coming up. Simmons makes an adjustment and now will throw to the sidelines he's got Brandon Freeman the senior for a first down in Rice territory and now they have something cooking here on this first drive man in motion for Simmons Cam Jones takes the jet sweep he'll go ahead and go in between the tackles and actually get six yards on the jet sweep now second down and four and the bubble was set up with Kenny Harrison and nobody even pursued him and he gets an easy first down grab with a blocker in front of him but now the UTSA runners will face third down and long Simmons out of the gun he just gives it to Anthony Banks and he'll get maybe back to the line of scrimmage but it looks like UTSA just wanted to play conservative on this first drive and get some points and get a lead and Sean Isles kick is just inside the right upright that one hooked the last second and it is good from 45 yards out and UTSA has the lead now enter the rice offense Kyle Cross the true freshman quarterback and his first pass is in traffic to Edwards who just drops the pass and that'll bring him a third down and 10 cross the lefty back in the pocket he'll throw over the middle wide open is Hull he takes a shot on the play that was a very nice hit but Hull hangs on he has the first down here it is once more that is Dominic Carter our first year starter the red shirt freshman and he has played pretty well so far this season second down and one cross going along on the sideline and Edwards how does Pat Edwards drop this one his second drop on this drive alone it's third down and one hand Hand off to Anderson he is stopped short and those drops have shown to kill this drive and now UTSA will take back the ball John Simmons rolling out to his right finds his open man Brandon Freeman getting separation on his short crossing route right at the yellow marker he gets a first down and the chains will move out of the gun again is Simmons with Banks to his right takes a snap incoming pressure but gets the pass off on the outside it's caught by Tim Whitaker he got separation on his break to the outside in this corner route. Very nicely run route. But then on first and 10, Simmons is quickly taken down in the backfield. It's an 8-yard loss. Second and 18 coming up for Simmons as he takes the snap out of the gun again. Looking to stretch the field. He has a man downfield. It's Cam Jones inside the 10 and down at the 7-yard line. First and goal coming up. We'll go to third down and go for the big catch by Cam Jones and Simmons. Looking to put this one in the end zone. The pass to the goal line is incomplete. Drop by David Morgan. Hit on the play. And so UTSA only gets six points in the first two drives, but do have the lead. Rice's next possession. This pass is a jump ball that is dropped. So third down and one coming up for Kyle Cross. He takes a snap out of the shotgun, back to throw, fires to the outside, and it's intercepted by Jeremy Hall at the 38-yard line. He takes a shot, and it's UTSA football again. He saw his man breaking to the outside, but that is a mistake a lot of young quarterbacks make. Those out routes aren't as open as you think they are. First and ten for John Simmons. He'll go long on the first play of the drive. He hooks up with Freeman and he scores a touchdown for UTSA. Easy touchdown for the Roadrunners as Brandon Freeman ran a quick little wheel and that one got him past the safety and he broke too late to get back in coverage and UTSA takes a 13 to nothing lead. A two score lead now as Kyle Cross tries to avenge an interception. He'll find Thomas on this pass. A nice throw and catch and it's a first down for Rice up to the 40 yard line 
Cross will throw once again. Not really much of a running offense for Rice. And his pass to the sideline is caught by Steven Sherman, the freshman. And that's a great catch on the sideline. Getting them in UTSA territory. And now they catch UTSA off guard with a handoff that goes for a first down. And now, third down and 10 for Kyle Cross out of the shotgun. UTSA bringing the blitz with Sean Hunter. It's picked up and Cross will float it to the end zone. Up for Gibson. It's caught for a touchdown. What a throw by Kyle Cross. That was a big time throw by the true freshman quarterback. You can see LeVette Gibson get off his jam and lead Darian Stalling to the end zone. And a perfect throw by Cross. And Rice is in this game 13 7 as UTSA takes back over on offense. And we'll get it going with Kenny Harrison making a five-yard grab on first down. Good game from Simmons so far. He started off shaky last game, had a good finish, and has carried that solid finish into this week versus Rice. Simmons pass. Oh, this one's intercepted by Hill at the 45-yard line. Rice is getting back in this game, and they control the momentum. They have a touchdown on the board, and now the football in UTSA territory. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon about John Simmons. Cross's throw on first down is caught by Pat Edwards. He has eight yards ahead. This time he actually catches the ball too. Make note of that. Second and two. Handoff to Anderson. A juke and he gets a first down. Nice play. About a gain of five on the ground. So second and six coming up. Cross will throw again to the outside. That was a mistake. He threw it up. It's picked off by Jason Holmes who pitches it back to Tristan Wade. He's out of bounds of the 35 yard line. Looked like he didn't think he would get much of a return so he pitched it back and it ends up netting for a few extra yards. And now, look at this play by Brandon Freeman. Puts his foot in the turf, turns around, switches direction on a dime, and gets the first down and much more on the grab. A turnover by UTSA has gotten the momentum back. And now Simmons draws him off sides, throws it long for Morgan. What a play to knock that one away. Is that a lineman in coverage? That dude is a beast. Third and two coming up now. Third and short for Simmons. He'll take the snap out of the gun. Open over the middle. It's Kenny Harrison, the senior. A first down inside the 20-yard line. Working in the red zone now for the runners. It's third down and 10 now. Three receivers out for Simmons. He'll roll out to his right now. Looking for the open man. Fires to Brandon Freeman. What a strike for a first down to the five-yard line. Over 200 yards on the day for John Simmons. He has been impressive thus far. First and 10 now. Simmons looking to the end zone. Touchdown! Kenny Sam Jones, a quick crossing route, put it up for him, and he made the grab, and UTSA extends their lead to 20-7. to It's back to a 13-point lead, and John Simmons has looked good in action today. Other than a handful of throws, he's made a lot of very nice ones to make up for it. In the absence of Evan Newton, UTSA's offense has found a way to play well on offense and put up a 20 spot in the first half so far. 40 seconds to go in the first half. UTSA working to get some more points if they can. And look at this throw from Simmons to Whitaker to the 45-yard line. Terrific pass. Second and 10 coming up now, making an adjustment. 30 seconds to go in the half. Simmons will throw again. He's got Harrison running a crossing road. He's got a first down up ahead to the 45-yard line of Rice. And now seven seconds to go. Have to go to the sideline. Simmons throws to Whitaker, and he drops it. He had a first down. Would have made Shanayano have an attempt for a field goal, but instead will go to the second half. And Rice comes out on offense. They have the ball first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. Cross back to throw. The freshman's had a shaky day, an inconsistent day. He finds Tony Anderson on this first play, and he gets six yards ahead, trying to build some momentum. They're only down by 13. It's not a huge deficit. Cross now going along to the right side. Pat Edwards is wide open. He's drug out of bounds by Nick Johnston, and the safety was slow to get over, and that gives Rice the ball deep into Rice, in uh, UTSA territory, rather, and this pass from Cross is overthrown, nearly picked off in the end zone. So third down and five. Cross over the middle and Pat Edwards drops his third pass of the day. He was at the two-yard line, may have scored, and it forces Rice to settle for a field goal. 20 to 10. Simmons back on offense and there is Brandon Freeman getting in the action again. He has a first down ahead to the 32-yard line, roughly or around the 30. And then Anthony Banks out of the backfield as a first down grab. Haven't seen much of him today, but it's really been all about Brandon Freeman and Cam Jones. And then on first and ten, we get Glasgow involved, and he gets a carry up the middle for two yards. Almost set up third down and eight, trying to keep this drive moving. Simmons makes an adjustment and takes a snap out of the gun. Quick to the outside to Cam Jones. A very nice throw over the linebacker's head, but Cam absorbs the hit and ends up dropping the pass. So UTSA punts the football. It's Rice ball again. 
again. Cross throws to the outside. It's caught by Taylor. He runs over. Defender is out of bounds of the 46-yard line. It'll set up third down and three. Cross fakes the draw and now will throw. Everybody going long and Cross will go deep. He has a man to the 10. It's Thomas and he is down to the five-yard line and Rice is in prime distance to score. They hurry it up and get back to the line out of the shotgun. Cross option right side. Pitches it back to Taylor. He stopped at the five-yard line. No gain on the play. Third and goal coming up now. Man in motion. That's A.J. Horn. Cross to throw. Throws to Horn and it's incomplete. Third and goal fails and they end up kicking another field goal. It's 20 to 13. Still a touchdown lead for the Roadrunners. But John Simmons in trouble and goes down on this first down play. And it would set up a third down and 17 a couple plays later. Simmons needs a lot of yards to convert, but instead he goes down again and is sacked for a loss of nine. And Rice takes over and has the ball at midfield for second down and short cross running option. And this time it works. Tony Anderson to the outside has a gain of about eight yards. He showed out of bounds after getting the first down. Now Thomas in motion. Jet sweep to the outside. He has a block with A.J. Horn and another first down. He takes a shot from Alondre Thorne. But now, can Rice convert on third down and 13 to keep this drive moving? Cross takes the snap, fires to Doral. He makes the catch of the 35 or the 25 and is immediately tackled by Darian Starling. It'll be fourth down and five coming up. Snap spot kick on a field goal is up and it is good. So Rice is settling for a lot of field goals. They're third in a row. And so, is that going to come back to hurt them? It's only a four point lead for UTSA. Their offense has slowed down big time as Rice's defense has stepped up in the second half. On second and long, Simmons finds Cam Jones just shy of the first down marker. That's a big 13-yard gain. Third and one set up now. Single back is David Glasgow. He takes the hand up the middle. He gets the first down and more. Breaks the tackle. It takes three defenders to finally get him to the ground. The chain's moving now at second and 14. Screen pass for Anthony Banks. It's an excellent screen. He's got almost a first down. Gets about 13 yards on the catch. But a flag is down, and it would knock back UTSA 10 more yards. Second and long. Simmons under pressure. Gets it off to Harrison. Just barely over the middle. It's an eight-yard gain. A solid play. And John Simmons with that pass has broken the record set by Eric Sosa for most passing yards in a single game. That's right. No UTSA quarterback has ever thrown for 300 yet. But look at Simmons throw it long on third down it's intercepted by Finner at the 25 yard line basically a throwing punt by John Simmons taking a chance with the flag down and Rice ends up getting the football back of course after the pick and Hill will go up the middle he has a first down in the UTSA territory as a field goal will not do them any good on this drive will give them to within one point they want the touchdown Kyle Cross on first down he finds Sherman over the middle it's a first down to the 30 as they're driving it's now second down and 10 UTSA Pumping up the box and showing blitz. Cross runs option left side. It's a disaster. Pitches back to Tony Anderson. He loses seven yards. And now third down and 17. Cross needs a big throw. He leads Sherman to the outside. And it's incomplete. Nearly picked off. And he'll set up a long field goal attempt for Joe Townsend, the freshman kicker. He's three for three. And now three for four. That one wasn't even that close. The ball will go back to UTSA with 3.44 to go, and UTSA with first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. Hand off to Glasgow up the middle for five yards. A nice chunk on first down, and I'll set up second down and five. Glasgow again going to the right side. He's stepped after a three-yard gain. Third down and two coming up. UTSA looking to run. Fullback in now. Richie Battle leading him to the outside, and Glasgow is caught from behind. Shy of the first down marker. Three straight runs, can't get the runners 10 yards, and Rice gets the football back with two minutes to go. Cross over the middle, he made a big mistake on that play. It's picked off by Nick Johnson, running across the field, looking for running room down to the 26-yard line. It was intended for A.J. Horn, and Cross forced another pass. And UTSA takes over in field goal range, looking to run the ball. They give it to Banks on third and long. That basically just makes it an easier field goal attempt for Shamano from the right hash. Snap spot kick is up, and it is good for UTSA. They once again have a touchdown lead. And honestly, there is plenty of time left for Rice in this one. Cross takes the pass, doesn't want to force one, and he's taking his time, evades the pressure, panics, and now throws long. It's intercepted by Mike Butler. Here he goes to the 30 out of bounds of the 26. 
and UTSA is on their way to their fourth win on the year. John Simmons will take a knee, but there will be a little bit of time left on the clock, so they're going to bring out the punt unit and just tell the punter to kick it sky high and try to run the rest of the clock off. As he punts it up, it's going to land in the end zone, but two seconds left, and so Rice has one play. One final hope for Kyle Cross, and it's going to require 80 yards. He throws it long down the middle. It's incomplete. Four wins for your UTSA Roadrunners. They do it. They set a new record in this series with wins in a season. Yes, they're a young team. They've had their struggles, but perhaps this is their identity. Perhaps UTSA is ready to become a bowl-eligible team. They are 4-1 and one on the season. They're winning these close games. They used to be losing, and they're making a lot more plays when they need to. Brandon Freeman was big today, so was Cam Jones, and the defense rattling Kyle Cross and forcing a plethora of interceptions on the day. Not much in the running game for UTSA, but the passing game more than made up for it. Kyle Cross was impressive other than his interceptions, but his receivers didn't bail him out much, and there was a lot of drops by Pat Edwards in particular. You can see they had eight as a team, or seven as a team, rather. And so that ends week six. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And we're going to do some more recruiting now to finish off the episode. Of course, last episode I talked about all the outside linebackers that I wanted to get. And we're moving up with this Brandon Ford outside linebacker. We've jumped past Notre Dame. And now looking at Chris Washington, who is basically... Uh, the number one guy we're looking for overall. We're battling Auburn and Washington, and that's going to be a process. But Keith Cowan, actually, he's a guy who we uh, had interest in last episode. He has committed fully now. He'll be registered next year, definitely. And you can see the rest of the guys we're looking for now. And back to Darren Rose, and we're going to need a replacement slot receiver for Kenny Harrison. He could probably be a slot guy or an outside guy. He's got very good speed. He's got the slot size. I think he's going to be a very versatile player if he does does commit he should commit to the UTSA Roadrunners now at center is another spot we're looking at because we give a lot of inside pressure and I always like recruiting against Boise State because I can always trash on their academic prestige in this game because it's like a D minus or a D plus something like that anyway next episode UTSA goes for their fifth win against the UTEP Miners as Evan Newton has one game left before he's ready to come back you can see the schedule here Evan Newton is in line to come back against number 16 UCF we're going to definitely want him for that game but hopefully UTSA can move to 5-1 five and one, five and one next week but right now we're just happy they're a four and one team very good start to the year so far so thank you for watching guys leave your feedback below in the comment section and i'll see you guys later have a great day